uh, we are in the midst of a kind of uh, data revolution, uh, sensing revolution, sensor in your pocket, sensor everywhere. But there, there are also a lot of sensors in space. It's a collaborative global effort between different space agencies to build that infrastructure. And Europe is playing a key leading role in this with a program called Copernicus, which is putting in, sp in space a family of mission doing routine monitoring of the planet every week, 10 meter resolution for the next decades. And this data is open and for free. So we need to make the most of it in order to manage these resources. And I go to uh, several examples of what we can see from space with this infrastructure. Uh, you can monitor the sea ice, seeing that it's decreasing. It's actually quite scary because scientists says that um, the Arctic will be ice free uh, this century. We can monitor also other aspects of climate change, like the melting of ice cap, which could be a big uh, uh, surprise in the game. And you see here the loss of volume, especially at the border of the ice caps that we can spot from space with a mechanism of lubrification so that the ice is sliding and melting faster.